One of the things that's really nice with Julia is that you have all these different modes and you can add modes to it. So it's not just that we have the help mode that you hit the question mark to get, I go out with backspace, but you can also get into shell mode by hitting a uh, semicolon. And now I have, can do regular shell commands. I can do for instance, echo, hello world. And this is pretty well integrated with each other. So if I have uh, some variables, say foo, which contains hello, if I go into shell mode, that is actually available. So I can do like that. And this actually goes both ways. If I start writing a text string, I can actually complete on things that is in, for instance, REPL commands, like that. Something that's uh, some file or directory that's uh, already there. This makes it very handy if you're doing some kind of scripting, for instance. But we have more modes. We have the package mode, which we type square brackets to get. So that's uh, this square bracket that you use to get that. Uh, you can use the uh, question mark to find out what kind of commands can you do with that. One useful one is this status that tells us what packages have I installed in my standard Julia environment. So one thing that's interesting with Julia is that you have a repository where you store all the stuff that you're downloaded, all the packages, but you're always working in some kind of environment that links into this repository. So we'll see that a little bit later, but it will show a different things installed. So you can have different versions, for instance, of different packages, which is very handy. So that gives you a little bit impression of what the uh, package mode is. We're gonna be actually using that more later in just a little bit.